This is a cyber mesh maturity model developed by former security practitioners to provide guidance on how to incrementally build business-specific risk reduction strategies using the solutions you already have. Organizations employ tools that generate data, typically forward to a SIM or data lake. Unfortunately, although the data is aggregated, it's not converged so that the data sets can be used as one. The result is an obligation to manually analyze disparate data sets to develop a clear understanding of a threat, typically in a reactive approach. When data is hard to access and analyze, it results in a number of different challenges. First, we have obstacles in maintaining an effective IT asset inventory. When there are many sources of data, we do not understand every asset on our network or the security controls in place. The result is an incomplete understanding of our network assets and their risk. Second, vulnerability management is an overwhelming obstacle simply because we're addressing and prioritizing vulnerabilities based upon third-party risk scores that are not actually relevant to our business but derived from other siloed data sources. This means that when prioritizing vulnerabilities, we're not including the most important aspect, which is business impact. Third, Incident response is hindered by manual and lengthy analysis over multiple data sets for each security incident. And without a clear picture of an asset's relevance to applications, the impact of changes are unknown. AppNovi was founded by former security practitioners that have spent time in some of the world's largest security operation centers. Our goal is to provide the ability to integrate, aggregate, contextualize, and visualize all of your network and security data. You can use your existing data sources to understand the level of risk to the business without agents. You gain effective attack surface identification and mapping, mature your vulnerability management for business-specific risk reduction, and make informed incident response decisions with greater efficiency that avoids disrupting critical network connections or applications. Security is a journey and not a destination, so we need to understand how to get started one of the best ways to assess efficacy and efficiency is to understand how much time is spent on each security threat and the volume of threats we can address. If we're spending a lot of time on analysis, it typically results in poor risk reduction or prioritization, simply because we're spending a lot of time on things that may not be risky to the business. For example, if we're spending a lot of time on analysis, it typically results in poor risk reduction or prioritization simply because we're spending a lot of time on things that may not be risky to the business. For example, if an analyst spends two hours assessing the impact of a vulnerability to find it's the cafeteria menu server instead of the web server that processes all the payments for the state of Massachusetts, the outcome of risk reduction by remediating that cafeteria server isn't aligned to the business priorities and the business impact. At the other end of the spectrum, we might be focusing on addressing as many tickets as possible to reduce risk based upon volume alone. Unfortunately, this means that we have a generally blind approach to prioritization. While our teams are executing with terrific purpose and momentum, we're reliant on volume, and without effective analysis, our actions may have unpredictable results, such as network disruption. Ideally, organizations want to have a path forward that balances between these two extremes, one in which we have effective analysis in addition to effective prioritization to make meaningful business risk reduction in the greatest volume we can support. The first step in this process is effective asset management, which typically ties to CIS core controls one and two. Asset management means we need to pull in all of our asset inventories across all of our different networks, inclusive of both virtual and physical, and understand assets and software. At this point, we can start to identify assets that don't have the appropriate security controls in place, such as EDR agents. Once we have visibility over assets, we need to understand how they connect. One of the best ways to do this is using NetFlow data already being generated. Once we understand the connections, we can start to map out critical connections for important assets, such as application servers. This typically aligns to CIS Core Control 13. Once we understand what our network contains and how it connects, we can bring in security information to understand what threats are associated with each asset and its contextual exposure through connections. For example, we can identify if an unmonitored vulnerable asset is exposed to the internet. This is often in support of CIS Core Control 7. Identity is a critical aspect to understand user behavior on the network. When we pull in data from Okta, for example, we can understand which account or multiple accounts belong to users and where they're logging into. This is very helpful for conducting an investigation of a security incident.
Lastly, we're going to want to understand what applications exist in our network. When we understand the direct and indirect dependencies between application components, we can quickly determine what services are necessary for the applications, the owners of the applications, and the stakeholders we need to communicate risk to. As we incrementally mature our security data visualization, we make the concept of security increasingly accessible to others. Not only have we made all of our security data accessible to stakeholders across the business, but increasingly improved our business-specific risk management process based on attack surface mapping, better prioritized vulnerability management, and more effective and efficient incident response. If you want to see how AppNovi can serve as your cyber mesh platform and integrate with the existing solutions you have today, please visit appnovi.com.